Nature Trust of BC is a not-for-profit organization whose goal is to maintain biodiversity by securing, managing, and protecting significant land resources. For over 40 years, they've worked with farmers, conservationists, naturalists, and the Ministry of the Environment to protect the province's natural heritage for future generations. The Nature Trust was launched in 1971 when former Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau offered a four and a half million dollar grant to finance conservation in British Columbia. Since then, the Trust has acquired over 150,000 acres of habitat. Outside of the startup funds, the Trust has done its work and land buys relying on private and corporate donations and government funding to continue their work. And they're doing it very well. They still have the original $4.5 million grant, but since then they have invested over $68 million in acquiring land. And that's what I call sound fiscal management, and that is one reason why over the past decade I've supported the work of the BC Nature Trust. About a year ago, the Nature Trust of British Columbia came to me with a problem. They wanted to know if I could help them find someone to look after one of their ranches. Now the ranch here is no small ranch. It's 90,000 acres. In fact, it's probably one of the largest ranches in all of British Columbia. The ranch is located in the Okanagan Valley adjacent to the village of Okanagan Falls. Jim Hope, conservation land manager for the Nature Trust and a good friend of mine, explained why the ranch is important in maintaining the biodiversity of the area. This valley is under intense pressure. It's, it's been used for agriculture for the last 125 years and agriculture is going through a major transition. In the past it was primarily livestock raising. In the 20s and onwards, orchards became a big part of the agricultural economy. And now grapes and the establishment of new vineyards is a major part of the ag economy. The Nature Trust bought three ranches between 1985 and the year 2000. We consolidated those into two more economic and efficient operating units. And our goal is to demonstrate through biodiversity ranching that livestock ranching and wise stewardship of the land are very compatible and economic. We have one successful ranch operation at White Lake Basin, and behind me is our ranch operation here at Okanagan Falls. As soon as I got the call from Nature Trust, I jumped into the Navajo and flew into Okanagan Falls to have a look at the ranch for myself. It was obvious it would need some TLC, and it would take a rancher with a long-term commitment. So, first of all, I realized you had to have someone who knew something about ranching, so that pretty much eliminated everybody I knew. So I thought we'd do something completely different. What we did is we prepared a video and we launched it worldwide. The mission was to find somebody to take over the ranch right here in Okanagan Falls. This is certainly one of the most unusual rental opportunities available in all of Canada today. And it's a unique business opportunity to partner with the BC Nature Trust, a leading conservation group at the same time. Essentially, it's a very simple deal. For a small monthly lease, you get a three bedroom home, outbuildings, 240 acres of irrigated land, and another 1,300 acres of prime farmland, plus another 90,000 acres of a grazing lease. Once the video was released, we were flooded with hundreds of phone calls and emails from people all over the world. A number of parties applied for the post after a rigorous review process the Culligans were selected to become the new leaseholders. Aaron and Ryan Culligan are a young couple from Saskatchewan who were looking to start their own cattle ranching business. Now Ryan grew up on a working ranch and bringing valuable experience and knowledge. And Aaron is a trained veterinarian and has worked with animals all her life. They were a perfect fit. Although the couple weren't looking for a property in British Columbia, 
My video grabbed their attention and they submitted a business proposal to the Nature Trust. After an interview and visit to the site, the Culligans were accepted and moved on to the ranch in the fall of 2009. When we come back, we visit Aaron and Ryan to find out about life on the ranch. Previously, we introduced you to Aaron and Ryan Culligan, a young couple who partnered with the Nature Trust of BC to take on a 25-year biodiversity ranching lease in the Okanagan Valley. Now join us now as we visit them to hear about their experiences so far. Take me back to that first day when you arrived here. You must have thought, oh no, this is going to be a lot of work. Uh, well, no, when we, we had come out to look at the place prior, so we knew what we were up against and uh, mostly excited for the challenge. It's one thing to have a lot of work in front of you, but when you know you have the Nature Trust backing us and having this type of establishment to work from, it was just, it was really nothing but an opportunity. So. And you started right here. This is what went in first. This is what went in first. So this is our, our handling system. Now, while the property was already established as a ranch, the Culligans have continued to put up fencing and structures to suit their expanding needs. Okay, you've got 250 head. Yes. What's your plans? Our plan is to build up our herd to 500 over the next five years. And the problem is, is that it goes in cycles, but right now you're just putting all this money in yes, before you it's get all, back. Right? It's all input and, and it's all dependent on our calf check in the fall is our, is our wage. So um, as far as startup costs on this place, they've been, they've been fairly high, but we're, we're making out all right. We headed to the barn to join Ryan, where the couple told us about their partnership with the Nature Trust. Yeah, I think it's really neat how the Nature Trust uh, purchases land in, uh, in the sake of conservation and how we can intertwine with them as a ranching family. And so we can uh, uh, work in the cattle business and, uh, and be conservationists at the same time. And I think that's a really neat combination. How can you be a conservationist? Well, it's, uh, well, one, by having uh, this land purchased, it's not available for any development, so we can ranch it, and we can partake in the conservation part as far as our, as far as the rangeland is concerned, with proper management of our cows and moving pastures accordingly, and just looking after our grass, and also taking into account the wildlife that runs here and, and moving our cows accordingly to their patterns. I think any rancher wants to see uh, his uh, grasslands healthy and his crops grow. You need to for your livelihood, and uh, healthy grasslands make uh, better production off the land with your livestock and that's our living so. While conservation goes hand in hand with good ranching, there's also the challenges of working 90,000 acres. Even after seven months on the property, the Culligans haven't even visited every corner. We've been, uh, we've been all around the uh, bottom land with farming. We haven't gotten into the far reaches of the back of the ranch just because the cattle haven't got there yet, but we're getting there. If you were to get on a horse right now and go to the other end, how long would that take you? Oh, We'd have to haul. You, yeah. What do you mean you'd have to haul? Well, just to get to the middle of the cow camp in the middle of the range is uh, a 45 minute drive from the home ranch. That's a long ride. Um, we just haul to certain destinations with the truck and trailer and unload and ride from there. From logging roads, there's lots of access all through the ranch, and so uh, you can get around with a pickup truck and a horse trailer pretty easily. So otherwise, you'd be wearing a lot of shoes out on your horse. The Culligans hope that their hard work will pay off in the fall when they sell their cattle. Well, we got a ways to go yet. I don't want to break up the champagne, but uh, <laughs> this this is a, a, a big challenge for us. Like it and. Most of it is, uh, it's not so much the labor part of it, it's the business, like in, in raising the capital and having your plan and staying the budget. And then you have the factors of the weather and the environment. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's, a, it's an uphill battle and just achieving that would be a big achievement. And ranching in this day and age, especially for a young couple like Ryan and I, is very difficult. It's hard to get into and it's hard to stay afloat. And, and uh, because of this opportunity with the Nature Trust, I think we stand a pretty good chance. While they still have a very long way to go, both Aaron and Ryan agree that taking on the ranch was worth it. It's a lifestyle choice and it's just every day is different. Every day is a challenge and we're just happy to face face every day actually. It's, 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 a neat, it's a neat feeling to see what you've planted or what you've built grow. And uh, yeah, that's probably the best part of it. Now Aaron and Ryan will most likely be ranching here for at least the next 25 years and hope to pass the job on to their children. In the meantime, they'll work with the Nature Trust to preserve and protect the biodiversity 
of the Okanagan Valley, right here in beautiful, bountiful British Columbia. Mm-hmm.